Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. Last time we took on Lorelei, the ice type member of the Elite Four, and we basically took her down fairly easy. Um, not too hard to, you know, play around her team. Um, keep in mind, she's not only going to be using a lot of ice types, but water types as well. Um, but now we're going to continue on past Lorelei and take on the next member of the Elite Four, and that's actually going to be Bruno here. So Bruno specializes in fighting types, and you're wanting something that can handle fighting types pretty well. Um, Maverick's honestly the best thing I've got for fighting types. Um, actually, Catherine as well. Catherine can handle fighting types pretty well, but I'm going to lead off with Maverick. Um, I can fly and hit things pretty easily um, with Maverick. So what we're going to do is just take on Bruno here. And like I was saying earlier, a lot of the Pokemon that's used here in the Elite Four, not only will they use a lot of their specialty type, but they'll also use a lot of a secondary type. And for Bruno, it's going to be a rock type Pokemon as well. And unfortunately, he's going to lead off with his rock type Pokemon. So I can't stay in with Maverick. Um, Maverick doesn't do very well against this thing. If it hits me with like a rock slide, um, there's a good chance we might lose Maverick. So I'm going to actually switch here into Titan. Titan can take a hit fairly easy. And he's actually going to go for a Stealth Rock. So this is actually some um, pro play strats here that he's um, using. We can go ahead and Mega Evolve and just Scald. Um, Titan's actually very good in this. Um, honestly, what I should have done was went for Reflect on Aerodactyl. That's probably what would have been the best thing, but oh well. Um, we shouldn't have too much of a hard time in this battle. Yeah, so Onyx goes down pretty easily. And next up, he's going to send out that Hitmonchan. So Hitmonchan actually has good coverage. Um, like, really good coverage. I want to send out Doug. Doug's actually falling behind in levels. And Doug does have access to play rough, so I'm going to actually make use of that move. Of course, we're going to take nasty damage from the rocks. But we should still have an easy time here. Doug is faster than Hitmonchan. We, we actually miss the play rough. That's okay. We've got another shot. Let's go ahead and do it again. What? Alright, we're going to go ahead and heal up. Because we actually missed that twice, which is actually making me wonder why. We don't usually miss so often. It's not that it's a really low accuracy move. I'm just having bad luck right now. So far all we've seen was Thunder Punch. Let's see, what else would it have? It might have Fire Punch, Ice Punch, you know, the elemental punches. And then maybe a fighting type move. Hitmonchan actually does have good bulk though, so keep that in mind if you actually hit it and don't quite take it down with one hit. And a flamethrower will be sufficient here. Because I'm not going to risk missing with how much bad luck we've been having. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take out the Hitmonchan. Um, so far, it's been the only Pokemon that give, gave us some sort of problems. Peaches is at level 61. Peaches is not going to be seen here, though. Just because it is a dark type. Um, and Hitmonchamp is coming in. So Hitmonchamp actually does have good bulk as well. <clears throat> I'm going to actually go into Maverick here. And the reason is I want to set up that Reflect. I should have done that first turn. That would have made it where Doug could take the hits better. But um, I was actually scared of a Rock-type move. So Machamp actually has good bulk as well. It's actually very slow though. So you don't have to worry about it outspeeding a lot of Pokemon that you're probably using. Um, but keep in mind, it's going to take a hit pretty well. And we set up that Reflect. Let's see how much Super Power does. Still does decent amount. <clears throat> but the good thing is it lowered its own defense with that. So what I'm going to do is actually fly this turn. Um, the good thing about this Pokemon game is there's no abilities. Um, in the other Pokemon games, a lot of times Machamp would have no guard. So even when you go to, for fly... You're going to be hit with a nasty superpower or something like that. But luckily for us, um, we just, you know, we're in that state where we cannot be attacked while we are flying in this game. 
So now he's going to send out Polyrath, and Polyrath also does have decent bulk as well. Um, I think Sophia is my best option. I don't really have anything that good against water types um, necessarily, except Sophia. Even though Sophia is so overleveled, I feel like might as well bring Sophia in for a nice, you know, a, a nice chance to hit this polygraph. And we're going to zip zap. It's not going to quite take it out. It just gives you an idea of how powerful Bruno's Pokemon are. These Pokemon actually take hits pretty well, surprisingly. Um... If it was any other trainer out in the, you know, in the other part of the game, that would have probably taken it out pretty easily. But we're here in the Elite Four. This is where the tough come to tough it out. So we take out the Polyrath. Doug's at level 56 now. <clears throat> the Reflect is gone. And just in time for Bruno to send out a very scary Pokemon. This is Hitmon. Lee. So, Hitmonlee is a strong Pokemon. Um, like, very strong. What I want to do, I want to see if he has a certain move, though. So, we're going to bait and switch this guy. So, there's a certain move that Hitmonlee often runs um, that is a fighting type move. The thing about it is, if you miss or try to use it on a Pokemon that is immune to fighting type moves, It'll actually do damage back to yourself instead. So what we're going to do is try to bait this Hitmonlee into going for high jump kick. And that way it's going to do a lot of damage to itself. It's got Brick Break instead. So uh, maybe it doesn't even have high jump kick. But anyway, a sidekick should do some decent damage. The thing about Hitmonlee though, it actually has good special defense. And it's actually going to live that. So we're going to take a nasty rock slide here. Catherine actually lives that, which is really nice. Um, I was actually expecting Catherine not to. Um, if this thing had like a dark type move, that it would have taken us out easily. But we take it out with another Psychic. That's something to keep in mind about Hitmonlee. It's got a surprisingly good special defense stat. And there we go. We have defeated Bruno. And you actually get good money for beating these people. So if you don't quite take them out in one go... Um, you can go back and get some more items with the money that you get and try it again. So here we're going to actually end this episode right here. Like I said earlier, we're going to do one Elite Four member per episode for this last part. That's how I did it for the yellow playthrough. That's how we're going to do it for this one. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next Pokemon video.